Hello, this is Gio. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to initialize and format a new hard drive. Uh, so right now you can see uh, I, I have the file manager open and you can see I have a C drive here, which is probably uh, too full right now. I have uh, a, e a F drive and I actually have another drive here that you don't see because it needs to be initialized first. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So to initialize your drive, you want to go to the lower left hand uh, start window there and right click. Don't left click, but right click and go up to disk management. So we'll click that. Okay, so right off the bat, it's asking me to initialize a disk, um, actually disk four here. And that's the disk that my file manager could not see. And so I do want to initialize that. And so I want to make sure that it's clicked like that. Next, it's asking you what partition style you want to use. Uh, you have two selections here. You could either use MBR or master boot record. Uh, now, this is an older style. Uh, typically, if you're running or you're going to use your hard drive on older Windows systems before Windows 10, you'd want to select that. But this does not work on uh, hard drives that are larger than two terabytes. So what I recommend is using GPT, uh, the partition table there. It uh, works for uh, newer Windows 10 and 11 uh, systems and you can format or excuse me initialize hard drives larger than two terabytes it's also um, more corruption resi uh, resilient and also has a better partition management so i just recommend uh, going with uh, gpt unless you are running those older windows systems so we'll go ahead and do that and hit ok and i'm just going to open this up so you can see where it's at and right there, and there you could see that it's currently online. Initially, it wasn't online. Um, and so once it's initialized, it becomes online. But you can see disk four is currently unallocated. So we, we do want to uh, format this disk. So next we want to right click uh, on this. So we want to create a partition. And then we go to new, we want to select the new simple volume. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then uh, just go, go ahead and hit next. And then this is just the uh, file size. And we just want to do uh, the default. Uh, this is a four terabyte drive. So we'll go here. And here we're just going to kind of keep the defaults. It's saying uh, assign a drive letter. You can select whatever you want. That's not... Uh, currently occupied, G's fine. I'm, I'm just gonna keep these unclicked or unselected and hit next. And then you could uh, change the file system. I recommend just keeping it with the NTFS. Uh, that works the best. I wanna do allocation unit size as default. And now the volume label, you could put whatever you want. I'll just keep it at new volume. You could delete this or change change the name. Um, also, uh, I would keep uh, uh, form a quick format. It just goes a lot quicker, especially with if you're if you're dealing with a newer drive. Just go ahead and do a quick format. Uh, I'm dealing with a four terabyte hard drive here, so this will just make the process go a lot uh, faster. And with regards to uh, folder compression, file and folder compression, keep do not check that. We don't want to compress. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. And then it just tells you a little bit about what you're doing here. So, uh, and we just hit uh, finish. And now you can see it's formatting. And there you go. The file G is now formatted. So uh, we go ahead and go to my PC. And now you can see it has an, the new volume G. It's uh, um, 3.63 terabytes or the four terabyte uh, size. And you are ready to save files in your new hard drive. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come.
Bye-bye.